Life in Ethiopia was very low-key, at least in my perspective as a child. Everyone in my neighborhood was really close to each other, like family. The doors of most houses remained open all day long, children played outside from dawn to dusk, and not to mention the snow-free beautiful weather. Before I was born, one of my uncles moved to the U.S. with his family. When they came back to visit us, my cousin always told me about all the nice things he saw in the U.S. This got me very eager to go. I begged my parents constantly to visit my cousin in the U.S. Towards the end of the year 2002, both my parents decided to fill out a diversity visa, or DV, which is basically a lottery ticket to go to the U.S. I thought this was due to all the nagging but actually my parents wanted my siblings and I to have a better education. The day I heard my dad got the DV, I ran around the neighborhood filled with joy. This gave me the chance to experience my first airport, airplane, and travel outside of the country. After arriving, I noticed the significant differences in culture, lifestyle, and obviously language. For example, the concept of personal space was introduced to me when I saw how people kept their distance respectfully from one another, whereas in Ethiopia, personal space was not really a thing. The taxis in the city of Addis Ababa, the capital, stayed jam-packed daily. Another difference I had to adjust to is the fact that I could not go outside and play whenever I wanted. After settling in, my parents wanted me to go to school, but first my mom had to teach me basic English since I could not speak it very well. I was eager to start school and had a lot of enthusiasm. Soon that enthusiasm died down due to the environment in the school. The charter school I attended shut down after my first year, which forced me to move schools. In addition, we moved houses as well. Within the span of the next four to five years, I moved schools four times, which made it hard to make lasting friendships as well as adjusting. All of these experiences have helped me adjust to new environments easily. For example, my high school transition, unlike others, was very smooth thanks to all the exposure I had with adjusting early on in life. I am hopeful that I will be able to adapt to college easily with all the adjusting skills that I've gained.